Daisy. Let's move on because Nielsen has released the total advertising spend for all political parties running in Victoria tomorrow. And we can reveal that Labor dramatically is outspending the coalition. The ALP spent $1.5 million this campaign, spruiking its candidates across TV, print, billboards and digital platforms. The Liberal Party, on the other hand, spent $994,000 and the poor old Nationals racked up a small bill of just $34,000. In a situation when money equals reach, you can see how the Liberals are well and truly the underdogs entering this race. But also spare a thought for the poorest party of them all with the legalised Cannabis Australia fellas spending just $1,000 this campaign. And limited budgets aside, the never-ending cost battle between major parties tells us how important courting the media is at every possibility. It can be hard to break through with your messaging if your pockets are shallow. And that is why the Sky News debate between Daniel Andrews and Matthew Guy was such a wasted opportunity for the coalition. Here is Andrews tearing into Guy about topics such as corruption, integrity and budget costings. Weren't you just bragging about the fact that you set it up and you were around the cabinet table? Isn't this your model, the one that you're now saying that we're defending? Look, you can't have it both ways. The, the, the fight I'm a big spender, but you're spending $30 billion and the I'm fight spending is yours, Daniel, I'm not um, You fight. wrote the act, but somehow it's my fault. Well, you, you need, I think there's got to be some consistency, surely. The fight is yours, Daniel, not mine. If you want to be a Premier and lead one of Australia's biggest states. You cannot sit back and let someone discredit your costings and say you are talking rubbish. Who on earth has given Matthew Guy media advice that he shouldn't fight? Who has told him he should roll over and not defend himself in the middle of the only debate Victorians would see? And doesn't that just sum up everything we have seen this election campaign? Wasted opportunities and a failure to stand up and campaign for the real issues with a little bit of fire. Sophie, keen to get your thoughts on it. Um, I found the the performance uh, by Matthew Guy very lacklustre. What was your take? Well, I was actually there uh, at Box Hill Town Hall uh, for the live debate, Jack. And look, uh, I thought Premier Andrews won that debate hands down. Uh, he got Matthew Guy on a few points, such as costings uh, and on the Anti-Corruption Commission. He really uh, pulled him up on a few points that Matthew Guy made and Matthew Guy appeared to not uh, counter the argument. I feel like it was an opportunity lost for the opposition leader. Uh, and these moments do count in that final week of the campaign when so many Victorians, Jack, are still undecided of who they are going to vote for on Saturday at the polling booth. So I felt that throughout this campaign, Daniel Andrews has really prosecuted his point well. He is very good at doing this. You cannot deny that. And I feel like the Liberals let themselves down on, on several occasions. For instance, yesterday, as we mentioned in the show, uh, where they couldn't reveal the total costings, uh, you know, when they were meant to release them Thursday afternoon, the press pack was waiting. And David Davis just said, oh, I'll get that in a few hours. I mean, it, that's chaotic. This should not be happening two days out from an election. So I think we'll see an Andrews Labor government uh, victory on Saturday night. Daisy, your thoughts on the debate? Well, I think uh, certainly any gains that the Liberals might have made in that poll that was on the age, um, you know, very early in the week were lost uh, during that debate for, for that exact reason. Matthew Guy's performance was just dismal. I mean, he was beyond being his usual insipid self. Um, as you pointed out, he was actively sidestepping having to take Andrews to task on anything. And in fact, in addition to him saying to Andrews, oh, oh the, the fight is yours, not mine, earlier in the debate, Andrews had a go at him, a sort of a mild go, but still a go. Um, on the subject of fracking and Matthew Guy literally answered I'm not here to have a fight I'm here to answer questions <laughs> it's a debate not a television panel for God's sake I mean it was such a missed opportunity Matthew Guy should have been tearing into Andrews there's so much there that he could take on but instead his final point his final point his, his total thesis of the way he's going into the election was to effectively say Victorians 
I will be less rude to you than Daniel <laughs> Andrews. Whereas Daniel Andrews ended the debate by saying, I'm going to make kinder free and I'm going to have government control over renewable energy uh, so that companies won't profit. You tell me who won that debate and I'll give you a free clue. It certainly wasn't Matthew Guy. Well said. I just could not believe it was radio silence on the lockdowns. The, the single biggest issue and neither mm. leader wanted to tackle it. it. It was extraordinary to me.